What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new video. Firestorm recently came out, I've been streaming it all day, and I had a lot of questions in the live stream about how to win a Firestorm game. I've been trying out a lot of different play styles, I've been playing squads, I've been playing solos, I've won both, I've lost both, so I know what works and what doesn't work. And yeah, I got like 8 main tips on how to increase the chances of winning your first Firestorm game or how to win more Firestorm games. Let's get right into it. So tip number one is when you're in an environment where there is high ground and low ground, always go for the high ground. This will give you a lot more easy ways to win gunfights. You have the upper hand in gunfights and you have a lot more cover. So always pick high ground over low ground. The second one, and this is a very important one, if you have a headset or earphones, use them. Sound in Firestorm is very important. Footsteps somehow work in Firestorm and don't work in multiplayer. So if you have earphones or a headset, use them. If you don't have an expensive headset, just use like cheap earplugs. They work as well. I tried them out and they will really help you, especially with those first gunfights when you know there's like someone dropped near you and you don't know exactly where he is. You can just listen and you know exactly where he is. The third tip is armor. Armor is probably, in my opinion, the most important thing, of course, besides health. Um, because armor will allow you to win gunfights, it will allow you to have the upper hand, and it will allow you to run away from gunfights. So, to know if you're like good to go to win gunfights or um, to like go to different places make sure you have like a medium armor or the heavy armor um, or just a normal armor armor is very important tip number four there are objectives in the map um, when you're playing solos the only reason why you should cap objectives if you have like really bad loot that then it's worth taking the risk getting the objective but if you have decent loot don't go for objectives. Go near them, maybe try and get some kills, but don't really cap them. It's too high of a risk. When you're playing with squads, it's always a good a way to get a, a bunch of kills, and it's a good way to go to objectives. I think with squads, they're more worth for going objectives than compared to solos. Tip 5 is weapons. What kind of weapons do you want and what kind of weapons you don't want? Um, shotguns is something you want to avoid. Sh shotguns are not really useful. Except for like the beginning when you drop near houses and you're just trying to pick up a gun, go for shotguns if you find something. But shotguns is probably one of the first guns you want to throw away when you find different guns. What I always use is I always go with a close range kind of medium range weapon like the STG or the Sturmgewehr. And I try to have something long range like the, the Sniper. Sniper is always good and like the Gwer 43 and the M1A1. So you can be effective up close and up long range. A lot of gunfights I find are very long range, so that's why I really like snipers in, the, in Firestorm. Tip number six, the ring. The fire ring is very important if you want to make sure there's no one behind you and to win gunfights. What a very good tactic is, is to actually circle around the circle. This is a way to get a bunch of kills if you, if you want them. And it's a good way to make sure you're not getting caught up in different gunfights at the same time. Being in the middle of the ring is always very dangerous. The seventh tip is getting kills. Getting kills for a win is not important. If you want to get a win, then don't really care too much about getting kills. If you see someone, don't like start shooting right away. It's quite a bad option. If you see someone, make sure you can kill them if you start shooting them. Unless you're with a squad, because then multiple people can shoot at the same time. But if you see someone and he's far away and you're not sure if you're going to get the kill, don't shoot. Just crawl up to them or run away. Because often these gunfights can take a lot of damage, can rip your armor and you'll be out of loot. You maybe get a kill, but it's very dangerous to go for gunfights. You're not sure if you're going to get them. Also, shooting in solos is very dangerous because... If it's quiet and you hear some shooting, it can be far away, but they know where you are. So shoot when it's right. If you don't need to shoot, don't do it. The last tip is vehicles. 
if you're playing solos, vehicles are not that useful. They need fuel, they need armor and ammo. And I find them personally not useful. In squads, however, they can be quite effective. So if it's worth to go for the dangerous vehicle picks when you try to like open the doors, in solos, I would not do that. In squats, it's definitely worth trying it. Alright guys, these are kind of the basic tips um, on how to improve your chances of winning a Firestorm match. I hope these helped. Um, let me know if you have any more questions. Just throw them in the comments. I'll try to answer most of them. And um, I hope this video was useful. Leave a like if it was. Thanks so much for watching. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.